All right, guys, check this out. This is me flying a powered parachute over Eagle Mountain, Utah. It's a beautiful summer day. I believe this was two years ago in Eagle Mountain, Utah. And a group of us went flying. We have a flying club here called Cedar Valley Aviation. And we refer to ourselves as the Cedar Valley Aviators. And we fly uh, airplanes as well as power parachutes. And a few of us fly power paragliders as well. You can see Mount Timpanoga is off in the distance. That is a view looking east. And I am here with uh, Randy Clayton. We're, I believe we're practicing some engine out uh, maneuvers. There's a couple of my other crew. I believe one is Russell May and the other is Lee Dalton. And you can see the south end of the runway right now. We have a gravel runway. Just on the typical final approach. Oh, wait, there's Lee Dalton taking off. You can see him just doing his takeoff roll right there. We're coming in behind him. So the runway here at uh, Cedar Valley Airport is a mile long and we're at 5,000 feet ASL. And this is the hangar area. See that yellow airplane? That is our wind direction indicator. It actually rotates based on wind direction. And you can see the hangars there and You'll see an old uh, school bus. That is our pilot lounge, which has since burned down. We have a new pilot lounge trailer, which is a huge aircraft. It kind of looks like an Airstream. It's that metallic aluminum exterior. All right now we're on the north end of the uh, airport. Right below us is a church, uh, LDS Church Welfare Farm. It's a beautiful, clear summer day. We're flying over some freshly plowed fields and because of the darkness of the ground it creates some strange thermal activity uh, with regard to airlift and heat absorption when we're flying over it. You can definitely notice more of a bouncy uh, air turbulence when we're flying over freshly plowed fields. We're on our way south right now uh, towards city center. Eagle Mountain City Center. By the way, our new pilot lounge, it's an old trailer, so it's not new. We're, we're going to require a lot of, I guess, refurbishment on the inside. It's kind of an old piece of crap, but we're going to turn it into something nice. It's rustic, I guess, is the best way to say it. But it's not technically new, it's new to us. And it was donated by a pilot named Paul Stoddard. Thank you, Paul. See Mount Timpanogos right there in the background. And there is the south end of the runway, runway 17. Now we're looking north toward Camp Williams. See those hills off in the background? That is north, and that is undeveloped land owned by the U.S. Army, and which technically is a no-fly zone as well for civilian aircraft. We do, however, see a lot of Army helicopter activity out here in, in that airspace. There's Lee Dalton. He's an 80-year-old pilot flying 
side by side with Randy Clayton and I. I believe that's Kent Bills straight ahead of us. And there is Lee Dalton flying low and slow. Those houses that you see across, uh, basically on the west side of the runway, that is called Lone Tree. It's a subdivision called Lone Tree. Another slow flyby of the hangar and uh, pilot lounge area. There's our shadow right there. It's pretty amazing. And that mountain range off to the west is called the Ochre Mountain Range. And at the base of it is a town called Cedar Fort, which is a small little guess, farming town and horse. They do have their own radio, uh, rodeo grounds, pretty cool. There's kind of an aerial shot of the Cedar Valley Airport. You can see the old house, a couple hangars. And once again, we're over the freshly plowed fields. Such an amazing flight. Thanks for watching, guys.